Hey guys, this is Bird from Inside Outline, and today I have a quick tutorial for you on how to create SVG files in Canva. Yes, I said Canva. Some of you may not know what Canva is, and some of you may not know. So Canva is basically a graphic design tool software that allows you to create everything from invitations, PowerPoint presentations, um, flyers, brochures, and things like that. Well, with the pro version of Canva, you can now download your design into an SVG file. And so this is very important and unique because as Cricut users, you know, we're always looking for ways to cre either create our own SVG files or looking for SVG files on Etsy or Creative Market or wherever else. So being able to download SVG files from Canva is a major, major step up. I will say that in order to do this, you must be subscribed to the pro version of Canva. So there's a free version of Canva, but then there's also a pro version. I think the pro version is about 10 to $12, somewhere in that range. But now I'm just going to walk you through how to, you know, choose a graphic or icon in Canva that you like and download it to an SVG file and then upload it into Cricut Design Space. So let's jump right in. As you can see, I already have some recently used files and um, I have already just come into a, you know, canvas or artboard or whatever you want to call it. Um, there are different presets and I just chose a preset that was a presentation. This part right here really doesn't matter, um, but so I am over here in the element section and you can search for whatever you want and you can see some of the things that I've recently searched for. So I'll just click on game and then I'll click graphics. As you can see, there are different types of um, files that you can access. You can choose photos, graphics, videos, audio, all of that. Um, but what we want to choose is a graphic. So I'll just scroll through here so you can see some of the different types of game graphics. And I think I like this one. And as you can see, there is a icon when you hover over it that says pro. So that means that you have to have the pro account in order to download this icon or this graphic. Over here, these dice are free. So, you know, you could download that for free. But again, in order to download as an SVG file, you must have a Canva Pro subscription. So I'll just click on this game control or game handle and I'll just move that there. And then I will go over and type love. And then again, I want to click on graphics and then I'll just scroll through. And I think I like those snapping fingers. So I'll just add those in. Um, so I'll just keep scrolling and you can see all the different types of graphics that are available. I think I like this one as well. So I won't add too many because I don't want to, um, whenever I download this and upload it into Cricut Design Space, I want it to be, um, I don't want it to be a large file. So I think I like this snapping fingers too. So as you can see, there's a difference between these two snapping fingers. With this one, there are multiple colors, as you can see here. With this one, it's a solid color, which is black. And you can choose either or. Um, again, we, whenever you pull this into Cricut Design Space, you'll just have to use different colors um, for your hand. So I'll get rid of that one and keep this one. And again, these are some really high level or just icons that don't require a whole, whole bunch. If you wanted to, you can also add some text. So I'll just click the text tool. And you can see all the different types of uh, text options that are available. So I'll just scroll through so you can see some of these. I like that turning 22. I'm not 22, I'm past the age of 22, but. So what I want to do is to ungroup this text. So I will click the ungroup button or click these three dots and then click ungroup. And you can see that the font for the 22 is ultra. So if I wanted to change this text to be love, I could do that as well and just make it bigger or make it more horizontal. 
And if I wanted these two to go together, um, this pink is different from this one. So I would click on this pink, determine what color it is, and then come back over here to the word love, click on this color, and then click on that. So now that is more in sync. So again, these are just two different pieces. If I wanted to, I could also um, do something like this. So I'm going to take out the O and just add some space in between because I want this to be my O. Okay, I'll move this down. I need to add some more space, so I will do that. It almost looks like Louvre, but you know, you get the gist of it. So what I'm going to do is to click this down arrow, change the file type to be SVG, which is a sharp vector graphic. And then I'll click transparent background. Again, you can only do this if you have the pro version of Canva. You cannot do this if you have the free version of Canva. Next, I will click the download button. And then I will just save this as Canva Downloads 1 and then click Save. Now I'm over in Cricut Design Space. So I will click the Upload button, Upload Image. And then I'll just click on my Finder tool click on that SVG file and then drag it over into design space. So these are the different icons or graphics that you saw me create over in Canva. So then I'll click the upload button, click on this image and then click insert images. Now this uh, SVG is pretty large. As you can see, it's about 16 and a half inches. So I will take it down to about eight inches and then I will click the ungroup button because as you can see over in the layers panel, everything is grouped together. So this is my love or Louvre as I had um, mentioned before over in Canva. And this is my snapping fingers. And as you can see, all of these different components of the snapping hands are uh, separate pieces. So if you wanted to change up the colors, of the hearts, you could do that as well. And whenever you're ready to cut it, you just be sure to attach the light color so that they can cut accordingly. For your game control, as you can see, the contour button is available. So if you wanted to um, color in your different buttons on the control, I would just make a copy of this game controller. So I would do Command C and then Command V on my Mac computer. If you're using a Windows computer, you want to do Control C and then Control V to copy and paste. So I will just click the contour button. And I want to make sure that the only thing that's highlighted um, or the only thing that I want to show are the game control buttons. So I will click the actual controller to hide it. Okay. Yes. So as you can see, the game controller is um, grayed out and the buttons are darker or are a darker gray, which means that they will show up. So I'll click the X button. And as you can see, these are my game controller buttons. And if I wanted to change the color of those, I could do that as well and just drag them over here. And whenever you're ready to cut out your different pieces of these SVG files, you just click the make it button as you typically would. Um, I did not attach everything, so it's gonna look a little crazy on my screen, but you know, if I want to go back over and then um, attach these, or this is already one piece together, um, these two colors would cut out separately or the hearts would cut out separately. So I'm just going to hide it so that I can attach the actual hand. And then I will turn back on those hearts. And then for this love or love, I will attach that as well. And then I'll just click the make it button so you can see what that looks like. So here you have your uh, game controller in addition to the snapping hand. 
here you have um, one of your hearts and because the hearts are different colors, that one is gonna cut on a separate mat. Here you have your game controller buttons. And then here you have your love in addition to that other heart that was a separate color. So I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to download SVG files from Canva. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.